So in the previous tutorial we learned about creating custom filters and as you will see from now on everything you do with WordPress custom query it's going to be kind of like that. So you are going to have some variables that you are going to pass to your custom query and then uh, that custom query is going to spit out some data for you which you can display on your page. In today's video we are going to be doing custom search so it's a similar thing just a little bit different and we are going to be using some commands that we didn't uh, cover in the basic part of this series. So we are going to be doing something like this we are going to have a search bar right here, going to have a type of post that we want to search and then when we click search it's going to search all the custom post types that we have or the posts that we have and display it on our page. So let's get to it. So before we get to creating our custom search let me just show you what I did behind the scenes. So first of all in the header.php I created this form with a, submit, a submit button. Uh, we have a select form right here, uh, actually select drop down whatever you want to call it that has some values in it. So it has value of post and it has this post let's call it label, movies, books. So these are the values that we are going to be passing to our query just like we did with custom search. And also you have this input field right here in which we can input some text that we want to search. And the form action is going to be, let me just do method it will uh, work without the method but you should always have it right here so the method is going to be get and the form action is going to go to the search page which we are going to be creating in this video so let me just save this okay and uh, in the administration of WordPress I created two new custom post types one is called books so you can see all the books right here and the other one is called movies. We are going to be searching through those and also through all of our posts that we have from the previous lessons. So that's about it about the setup and now we can get to creating our custom uh, search form. So we already have our search form set up. Now we have to create a search page. So to do that I'm just going to go uh, to my editor and create a new page and I'm going to call it search.php .php ok uh, we are going to open php tags and of course get the header get header and we are going to get footer like you would almost always do uh, uh, for creating new pages or post pages or category pages or whatever you do in WordPress you would always do this get header and get footer and then I'm going to open up a container div container and then in that container div I'm going to set up a custom query so I'm going to do this, sorry, so that I don't have to write it. So now we have our custom query set up. Okay, and now uh, I'm just going to set up what our posts are going to be uh, are going to look like. So I'm going to open up a div with the class of post and the class of clear fix if we have some floats in it and then we are just going to do h5 and print out the title. Okay and then I'm going to go and in this strong tag what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do something like PHP if and then get post type get post type equals to and let's say post post 
then we echo out post uh, I'm doing this because I uh, just when we get the list because the names of uh, our posts and movies are just lorem ipsums so I want you to see what the what is the actual type of uh, post that we are getting so if we are getting post we are going to echo out post and then we can just copy this out two more times so if we get movies we are going to echo out movie and if we are getting books we are going to echo out books okay so this is one part set up now we just wanna do this so I'm going to make a custom template of this page and to do that you just do uh, like this comment right here and do template template name template name is going to be let's say custom search okay and we just save this now we can go to our administration and go to pages and add a new page and we're going to call this page search okay search and for the template we are going to select custom search template that we just created and just publish this okay as you can see the permalink of this page is query.dev slash search so that's the same URL that we are calling in this form so we are calling this search uh, URL when any anybody inputs something into this field this form is set up so uh, like we learned in the previous episode so this input has a name of search text and uh, this select has a name of type so when we click the submit button the action is going to be this search right here so it's going to go to the search page and in the URL we are going to get the values that we got from this uh, input field and this select field so we can even test that out if we go to our page and write something right here so as you can see this doesn't work just yet because we don't have our custom query set up but as you can see search text is equal to DSF and type is equal to movies okay so what we need to do now is we need to go to our search page and uh, set up uh, our get variable so we we have to get the variables that we get from these URLs so we already did that uh, with custom search so I hope this is going to be familiar to you so we just do if and then this get search text so that's the name of our URL variable I didn't write this correctly so search text so if we have search text and and if it's not empty so we want to check it out if we may be uh, we may, may have sent the empty value right here so if it's not empty search text search text we close this out open up curly braces and then we define our variable so our variable is going to be called text text and it's going to be this one so get search text okay and then we do the same thing for type so we have this type value right here so I'm just going to copy this out paste it right here and instead of search text we just write type type and we also write type right here 
OK. And the name of the variable is going to be type. And we are getting type. OK. So now we have our variable set up. <coughs> they are going to be read from this URL right here. So right now the text variable is going to be DSF and the mo uh, type variable is going to be movies. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to set up our uh, WP query arguments. So first of all we are going to define our post type. So I'm just going to do post type is equal to variable type of course. I am also going to define posts per page that are going to be unlimited and to say to WordPress that this is unlimited we just do minus one. And now for something that we didn't cover in the basics part of this series and that is this s command so this means search so what we are saying with this is we are using WordPress's search variable so uh, we are going to pass it text so this is going to search the title of our posts and the text of our posts so the text is of course uh, the variable that we are getting from this search field right here. Okay, so I think this is about uh, right, so this is all set up. Uh, we can test out the search now. So let's just write lorem right here and just click search. So as you can see now we get all the posts that have a lorem in it. Uh, it's a pretty broad search I would say, uh, as you can see, we don't even have lorem right here, but the lorem is somewhere in the body of that post. And as you can see, we are getting books, we are getting movies, uh, we are getting also posts. So they are right here and so on. So what we can do, we can do something like lorem and then choose the type to be just movies and click search and now all of our results will be containing a lorem text and they're all going to be movies. Also we can do ipsum and do something like books. As you can see this works now. Uh, also one more thing that I wouldn't advise you to do but you can do it if you want. If you want to get the exact matches and this doesn't work very well and it's not even in the documentation so you would have to go through the custom search PHP file of WordPress to get this information or search the internet for it so you have two more values that you can add to this array and that is exact which is by default set to false but we are going to set it to true and as you will see if we do Ipsum right now and click search we would get nothing uh, or even if you do this so we are searching the exact result but we would also get nothing so you have to set up this other value right here which is going to be sentence is equal to true. This is also set to false by default. Okay, save it. Now if we refresh the page we should get this one example of it. So this is the exact value we are looking for. But as, as I said uh, this is not very good to use because most of the time you won't get any results. So let's just try this est sit and search it and as you can see we don't get anything. So it has to be the exact uh, value of that string in the title or somewhere in your text. 
and of course to make this just a bit prettier you can do something like go right here and do h4 and do something like searching searching for and then you would do PHP and do echo text so if we go right here and do lorem actually I already uh, commented this out so we're just going to do lorem lorem and the type is going to be movies and click search we get all the movies and searching for lorem so this is good to have so that the users that actually search something will have this reference point right here so what they are searching for so as you can see this is just a basic example of how you would do custom search for your site you could of course add some other fields in that search and throw in some meta queries in your WordPress custom query something like we did in the previous video and uh, make that search much more complicated if you want it so I hope you guys like this video don't forget everything we did in this video will be available for you on github the link will be in the description below hope you liked this video thank you for watching if you liked it please like the video if you like the channel please subscribe to it uh, you can follow me on Twitter or on Facebook and I think that's about it thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one